everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. So this is a book I've basically had on my need to read list since it came out last year. I think like a month ago Frenchie D posted a review of this book on her channel and she completely raved about it and I was like alright I really need to get this book and so I finally picked it up and I literally read it in one evening. Maria Semple is not only an author but she also has worked on TV shows such as Mad About You, Ellen, and Arrested Development and when I saw that I was like okay I have a feeling I'm gonna like her writing style. The story is basically told from B's point of view who is Bernadette's daughter and basically Bernadette goes missing and what you are reading is basically a series of letters and conversations and things that have happened in the weeks leading up to Bernadette going missing. This book is a really fast read because of the way that it is told through letters and conversations and things like that. You can really fly through this book. This book is very very funny. It's filled with pop culture references and it is just very quick and constantly moving. I saw someone somewhere compare this to Gilmore Girls and it does have that sort of Gilmore Girls type feel to it where the conversations are very quick, the people in this book are very intelligent, there are pop culture references about. I absolutely loved B. I really like Bernadette too even though she is really eccentric and very specific and she you could tell she's slightly neurotic but I still really enjoyed her character and I thought she was really funny and it was really interesting seeing how she dealt with all of the situations that she's put in. This family is very much in the upper crust of society. The father or Bernadette's husband works at Microsoft and he is someone who has given a TED talk in this story. The way this book is put together, this is literally a book that I feel like was meant for someone like me. I love funny books like this that are very witty. I love books that are very pop culture based and I just loved every minute of this book. I will say that the way everything gets resolved I wasn't completely crazy about. You do have to sort of stretch your imagination a little bit in order to make it all work. And there are certain storylines where I was like, really did that have to happen? And it felt a little bit predictable within certain storylines. But I think overall I just really enjoyed this book and I thought it was just so much fun. I absolutely love this book but I wouldn't necessarily say that this book is for everyone. I would highly recommend checking out a sample of the book online to see if this is to your taste because the writing style is so different. I think the reason why I enjoyed this so much is because it sort of makes fun of the upper crust of society and I just found its take on that really humorous. Again it just reminded me a lot of Gilmore Girls and that style and so I feel like if you like Gilmore Girls you'll like this book but I also don't want to raise your expectations too high going into this book because there are certain aspects of Gilmore Girls that you can see hints of in this book but aren't completely as fleshed out as they could have been. In the end though, I did really love this book. I would recommend it if you're looking for something quick and easy and light and funny to read. This is definitely something to check out. So yeah, if you read this book, feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.